Uh, all right, everybody. First of all, I would like to thank everybody for joining in. Is it via Twitch or is it uh, virtually? Please, all delegates, don't drop out now. We would like to make a group photo in just a few moments. So if you can stand, stay just for 10 more minutes until we have concluded the official part, it would be really great. Okay, so... Uh, Thanks for being with us again. It was very cool. We had lots of great talks. I was able to meet completely new people. We are reaching out to uh, the all over the world. Again, I would like to repeat, we're starting in the west with Los Angeles, in the east with Tokyo, in the north with Helsinki, and in the south with Cape Town. So I guess that's pretty good coverage. Um, now I'm going to plug some of the stuff because some of you are, or the, all of us are actually on different platforms. So I will start with the one who's most dear to me. A bit shameless, I know, but don't worry. Uh, I, I want, I'm going to explain to you why in a second. So uh, the forstandard.org website was actually uh, an idea by Anton and which was then extended by the committee, by Peter and Bernd, and I can't name all of them, but lots of input. And this really should be like the uh, gate into force. So if you are new to force, you can go here. We can plug the Euroforce up here. Uh, um, there is also the contributions on the standard. Now, what I want to point out, down here is systems which comply to the standard. And we also have many more systems listed on the Force Hub. And on the bottom, there is communities. I am certain I am missing one of your communities. Please uh, write to me because I would really like to put your community down there so we can stay in touch. Also, interesting to me, Mattermost is a system which is like Slack, but it's uh, free and we have been using it during the Euroforce and we want to keep it open. So we will have a mechanism for you on Twitch to also join in there somehow in the near future. Um, so if your force system is missing or your uh, club is missing, please let me know. I'm really eager to put it up there. If your code is missing, there is another project which is called TheForce.net where a lot of people have already contributed. I'm very grateful for that. Thanks to everybody. And all of this is very transparent. If you put a package there, it also goes on GitHub. So uh, the source code will never get lost. You have to make a small package file describing what you want to do and you can put your code here. Your code cannot be bad enough. And in order to prove it, I created the worst package ever, uh, which is called MROD. And if you look at the code, uh, this is it, okay? So your code can only be better than this, and this is a serious package. Uh, so please, if you have source code to share, we would be delighted to have it up there, no matter the quality. We would really enjoy all of that. Uh, and as the last sequence, um, I want to announce that hopefully this will show up in Twitch. It won't show up to you in Mattermost, but don't worry. Well, actually I can copy paste it, can't I? Uh, yes, uh, twice is best. So the next Euroforce next year, if you enjoyed it this year, next year will be even better. Uh, it will be from the 8th of September to the 12th of September, 2021 in Rome. Now. If COVID continues or if there's any other problems arising in the meantime, uh, it will start one day earlier. And uh, sorry, I just realized this is the standard and the Euroforce. Of course, the Euroforce, for you who only are interested in this, will again start on Friday, uh, which will be the 10th September until the 12th September of 2021 in Rome. We would be glad to be having you there because uh, what we found, what we are missing out most at this time is that uh, we cannot have these little conversations over a cup of tea. You cannot get to know all of us. Uh, it's just so nice to exchange um, a few ideas and, and, and not in the big group, but also in a small group. So if you can, please make sure to join. And we will also try to stream it live via Twitch if it should be an offline event. All right. I think this concludes that. Uh, hold on. Ba, ba, ba. Let's go back to forstandard.org because this looks more official. And uh, now I would like you to, um, it's a bit, uh, of, of, we're going now to have a small ending ceremony this year. Uh, the little butlet in the bottom is actually what brought me to force because I was told that Klingon computers uh, are actually 
are actually using force. I cannot confirm this. If you can, please let me know. This is my little story behind this. And this LED was on or LED or light diode or whatever you want to call it was on during the whole time. And when we switch it off, um, there's a bit of a sad thing or a very sad thing. Matthias Trute, who's actually the author of the original recognizers, who has been uh, giving us lots of discussion. He passed away earlier this year. Uh, so maybe you can think of him. And I'm just very glad that his idea spawned so much interest. So Claudio, if I may ask you now to turn off the diode. It refuses. It, 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 it's, it's on a quite beefy power supply. Have you turned out number yeah. two? Yeah, I see. Oh, sorry, the camera is stuck. Yes. To unload. Aha! I just was told that the camera <laughs> stopped working. Now, if this isn't a message from Matthias refusing to give up on us standardizing recognizers. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I can assure you in reality, this LED is indeed off. And I would thank you all very much for joining in. And I'm going to give you a last view of all of the attendants who will now be waving at you in ecstasy. So goodbye. Oh, sorry. I have to push a button before you can see us all. Now it should work. Thank you all so much for joining us in and uh, goodbye Twitch. <laughs>